Uh, instead of hell, they would pay you a lot of the water and the gift of the entanglement. Precisely in the case of Davis and Lynch, which was the case that also gave the leader a tough description of heat. Now, that's promising because the sort of hallmark that you have to touch things in that matter of use of the security service is that it almost held on down scaling of the entanglement, which was computed in 2006 by Grace and that matter. So both the specific heat and the entanglement entropy show signs of some kind of surface uh, in, in, in the rest of space in the leading margin theory of the cyber scaling matters. Now, to be pessimistic, one of my colleagues, Arnold, the student of Stanford, had not come out of a perspective of weight that low energy, the finite momentum of these geometries. And in the leading supergravity approximation, there is no such spectral weight. Okay, so if there is such spectral weight, it has to be some meaning that that's not visible in supergravity. Such spectral weight would be expected, of course, on the principles. So in summary of this part of my talk, is that while there's progress, I think a lot remains to be done to find a convincing period of large end rule for a period of the Fermi surface, Fermi limited or not, uh, out of order. And until then, we'll be in the situation where we're studying one over n tails uh, that are being lagged by and then eating dawn as long as critical and has really a lot of periods. Okay, there's one more point I want to discuss in this homogeneous hyperbolic context of one one, which is on something that I'm going to call infrared incompleteness. Normally, straight gears talk about the need for ultraviolet completeness. But I'm going to discuss infrared completeness is so they were worried. So, many of the most interesting solutions we just discussed in session B are infrared incomplete due to the running scale which goes to a spring coupling at the horizon. Okay, it runs either a very strong or very good coupling. You might say that the inner extreme is definitely problematic in real discussions. So, strong coupling is problematic for obvious reasons. Uh, if you go to strong coupling, corrections for the action is power for the coupling will be the solution. Now, these coupling is also usually problematic, because the one that goes on is usually for the front. So, this is going to be a real literal string theory, but by being the string dilemma, you all know the fact that M string is another scale in the theory, is what allows string to regulate a lot of things they regulate, and it's the fact that the string coupling comes up on. So, in a theory where the string is running, it takes a string with values in some part of space, a high energy scale, and ice vibrate is coming down, and the string power is becoming white. And this can show up in string solutions, you know, to that higher temperature from the direct geometry. Now, often in consistent partitions, what I call the boson is not the string boson. It's a radius. The radius is a part of the sphere or whatever, you know, spotty ice like base of the magnifying. Then, the coupling in the sense isn't the string coupling, it's large volume. But again, at large volume, you can more degrees of freedom that are becoming white in your consistent partition because of large volume. Now it comes down to that. And in fact, black hole solutions, not black rain, uh, where such effects happen and the collection of traditional and change the structure of the horizon. One is about 67 years ago by the Volcker Colossal Moly, uh, just in the context of DPS black holes in Guadiana. So such effects are important to real and they just need to change the horizon. Now, for magnetically charged black rays, which is the case where the Volcker Colossal Moly is still coupling, we can even show, but this is not hard, uh, so it's inspired you, that in these toy models, the infrared incompleteness is zero in the right of solutions. Because all that happens in the effective action is you start adding corrections to the various functions, like the age-coupling function, in powers of the boson, and they yield you a factor of fixed points at the horizon. They yield places where the boson can be stabilized, and the geometry goes back to that of the maximal Einstein of the AES2. Okay, so here I've shown kind of plots of various functions in the third metric, but all you can take from these plots is that there's a region where there's something like this scaling, and then another region where there's, well, I forgot the backwards, where there's uh, ADS-like scaling, this is scaling. Okay, so you can look up the function. Well, I've also taken the most speaking in bottom-up language. The such metrics also arise in microscopic key rate instructions, they've been discussed in a variety of papers, and by far the simplest example, you don't have to go anywhere complicated, it's just a good old E2 brain that was studied by Bucky et al. in 1998, which actually has a large range of values of energy and a large GN, uh, a value of this type of scaling by listening, but it's much further. So between these values of the near quarter and the radio quarter, G squared N is one set and G squared N, which is a wide range of large sub uh, this metric is precisely the format of the now in this case, we have both IR incompleteness and UV incompleteness, and both are solved in the full period. The strong coupling limit is, of course, in the infrared yet to great CFT, real number tension, it's a very dramatic problem. And the UV incompleteness problem reason actually needs super gravity, but flows to the fixed point governed by super point. So this is a great post for trial for what goes wrong with these solutions in the UV and the Now I should say that even without the running both on many of the kinds of solutions that show up in the CFT, especially these, these solutions with dynamical scale and delicious horizons, I have in this period, even without the running Dilaton, the strong tidal force of the extreme horizon. And so, if I didn't have the excuse for the running Dilaton, something would still have to happen in the deep infrared. I'm not going to talk about that here, but resolutions of how you should do this is really happen to the state to be discussed by geometry. Now we can come to Great. Okay, so in the last five minutes, I'm going to move on to the next event horizon. So, what temperature basis that are not homogeneous like the perfect, but that without translation and rotation breaking, are you doing this in the static systems, or the density wave, the static basis, and so on? So, again, let me ask the right question for black brain physics. Can you classify, starting at least with me, possible to overlap your life? As a story for the classification, because I need, um, I'll just try to classify the most general homogeneous on the static topic, if you're black brain physics, you others, and then if you're brain physics, you can find anything similar to me, so here, by homogeneous, I do not mean that you have translations in a brief degree with each other in the whole way. Okay, what I mean is that for theory in these spatial dimensions, there should be some d-dimensional group action that relates each point to its neighbors in a small neighborhood. 
uh, or more technically, there's a deep filling vector whose commutators give rise to the upper row. Uh, and only the trivial such algebra will also find the finish, gives it a whole new So here's an example. Uh, in that analysis, we mental stage. We have usual translations in the three-point two of the direction of the shape here. But along the third of the axis, you have to translate as well as rotate. You get a symmetry. In, in terms of the sound vectors, you can represent that up for the length of the coordinates by these three filling vectors. Here you're rotating in the three-two plane as you move along the line axis. Now, these filling vectors generate a homogeneous space in the sense that each point in an infinitesimal neighborhood can be transported each of the points. But the commutation relations to find an algebra that is a very interesting for data translations is part three, which is the algebra. Uh, and in fact, these generalized translations could lead to very the vector order parameter whose expectation value is very normal translation. So if your vector order parameter B has these three components, then we're going to be But the algebra is a game generous symmetry. Or in the future, there's some order parameter that doesn't exist in space. It's here. With this being the explanation, so that the parameter being the vision of Now, that's a trivial example. You can all legalize it. But in fact, for phases in three spatial dimensions, all possible algorithms of this work were classified, and in fact, they're almost textual. The only classification, which is a great use in full style theoretical cosmology, for homogeneous anisotropic or dimensional FRW and FRW cosmology. So, this exact map of structure is the following. For each of the nine equivalent algebras that the Yankee found that produced scaling the two-line generators, there are three invariant one forms, omega, but the invariant other gas operations. And so, a metric expressed in terms of these one forms with constant coefficients will automatically be invariant under the upper. And in fact, the one-fold satisfy relations to contain the structure of the sub the realm of alpha. So we just have to find all the sets of omegas to satisfy these relations with equal one c's and even write out the problem of So now, with a one-fold assumed exact the question we're after, we really have an extra spatial dimension, and we've got time. So the struggle will find the simplest assumption, uh, which is we maintain the horizon symmetries under rescaling the time that you would saw exponents as you move uh, in the radial direction, and with the radial direction decoupled to the other spatial dimension. So the most general here, the horizon metric, is that this one is scaling for time, the omegas can be the metric with some data matrix of theta ij, and there's some data that differs the scaling of these omega directions. What's interesting here is that given this height, which is a discrete set, the triple finite set of constants you have to solve for the scaling scale method. So in fact, we can often reduce the equation you need to solve for different equations of the Okay, now, I'm out of time, so, buddy, hurry. Uh, when you find solutions, in fact, the data of the nine contra field types, mid measures, just by considering Einstein gravity comes to one field of massive vector, which is amazingly rich for such a simple system. And in fact, in this case, the equations do reduce out break. Seven of the five stars, as far as we can tell, a new class of the black-brain rises that were not concerned before. From the analogs for the young seven solutions, on the other hand, that's two of them that I showed you. Who found previously, I think, from instability from other holographic phases by RV and holographic UCD, by Overeen collaborators, uh, and by Rahman collaborators. Now, the important question is whether these metrics require you to put the field theory on space in the topology instead of the R3, or whether you can start with ADS5 and the field theory on R3, and fully one of these in the infrared without a non reliable definition of the metric. Do you think the latter is the case? We've only explicitly sort of shown that for type 7, numerically, uh, but we're in the process of showing it for the rest. So, let me close with what we're doing now. Uh, as I said, we're refining the classification of these horizons. The real algebraic structure is richer than what I indicated uh, by taking the sketch. I think the thing that I'm most excited about is this really useful work I'm doing with the next here at Stanford. We were trying to import some of the lessons from ADS instructions directly back into the field theory. Instead of using a geometry, we're directly studying some quantum critical design systems. I'm also very surface using the technique of removalization for the very surface. And I have to say that if you're looking for rich problems in field theory where the payoff to effort ratio might be very, very high, I think this is an excellent place to look. Uh, and finally, uh, with some students in postdoc at Stanford, we're trying to find general classes of black-brain solutions to sort of flux back you on body out three goals, whose main function will be to send light on issues of microscopic interpretation, uh, both with ADS and entropy that I mentioned before, and for some singularity that arise in these configurations. But that's fine. So thank you for your attention. And um, 
There's no small parameter of dumping pollution. And even having large end, for reasons that some could be explained to us two years ago, doesn't help. Well, large end is not solved in the technical nature of the pervasive. But it, there's a technique that can prove the analysis of even that simple model, C equals 3, thermodynamic goes on couple 2, a thermal solution. But I think once such techniques are developed, they can prove analysis of many, many other such models, such as order 1 goes on in quantum critical fields, couple 2 are very And the new thing that's really required there is the development of the available issue that correctly accounts for interactions with the fermi purpose, which doesn't matter.